Space, right? Ha, Jupiter. Speaking of Jupiter, NASA's been there recently. What a waste of money, eh? Waste of money. Come on, NASA. It's just a big ball of gas. Who wants to live there? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll give you some gas. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, eh? Can we actually live on Jupiter? Is it noon? Oh, it's noon. My name is Molly. I love playing Sims from Utah. And thanks for staying up till noon. Yes. Thank you for that. That's thanks for right. staying up till noon. Very good intro. Thanks for staying up till noon. My name is Ryan. My name is Corey. Uh, <laughs> Jupiter, though, right? That's right, Jupiter. Jupiter. You guys are probably really excited today because it's Friday. Right, yeah. and you're even more excited because NASA's recently taken pictures of Jupiter. Really cool. Right? Good for you. NASA. Boring, exciting. <laughs> what do you think? Probably a little bit of both. <laughs> Good for you. Anyways, right. we're gonna get right into it. You know our Friday segment. We're gonna get into this one, which is Hey, I didn't know that. Facts for this afternoon. I didn't know that. Facts for this afternoon. That's right, our first segment, which is our Friday facts. So we're going to start with some cool facts. And because we're talking about Jupiter, let's stick with the space theme. <laughs> Ryan, you get, get started. Actually, I think it's you that gets started. <laughs> is it me? No. <laughs> no, I don't want to start. Okay, I guess I'll start then. Space, right? <laughs> uh, space is confusing, just like That's the show. Right. It is, yeah. <laughs> and it's a waste of time, right? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> because because of the lower gravity, a person who weighs 100 kg on Earth would only weigh 38 kg on the surface of Mars. Oh, mm -hmm. so 100 kg is about 220 pounds. Is that why we float around on Mars? I mean, uh, yeah, Mars. <laughs> so 220 pounds. So that'd be about that'd be about 80 pounds. A 220 pound man would weigh about 80 pounds that's on Mars. That's that's cool. That's pretty cool. I'll go on to the next one here. The hottest planet in our solar system is Venus. That's Most right. people often think that it would be Mercury as it's the closest planet to the sun. This is because Venus has a lot of gases in its atmosphere, which causes the greenhouse effect. And we'll mention Venus in our next segment too, so stay tuned. Yeah. Um, and Cladis, one of Saturn's smaller moons, reflects some 90% of the sunlight, making it more reflective than snow. That's pretty crazy. That's yeah, really cool, actually, yeah. So, is it... Is it like a white moon? <laughs> yeah, like what's, like it, what's is it? it basically, does it have tinfoil over it? Like is it tinfoil like planet? Tin, the tinfoil planet? I like that. <laughs> I want to go on the tinfoil planet. Me too. Planet. Mercury and Venus are the only two planets in our solar system that do not have in any our, moons. In our solar system? Our solar system? Our solar system? our system? system? Do not have any moons. Really? I did, I did not know that. Why? Maybe because they're gas. Why? Because they're too volatile. Ooh. Hey, ooh, where wow. are the day volatile? It's probably because of the sun, right? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that means. Well, those are some <sighs> awesome facts, hey. Awesome facts. But we're gonna get right into the uh, the main portion of our show, and it's the what wood section. And here we go. What wood? What wood? Hey, everybody, what wood? Yes, what would, and today we're going to ask the question, what would it take to live on Jupiter? Jupiter's the theme because NASA's been there and they're showing us stuff. Good for NASA. So we probably want to live there, just like Mars, hey? We've studied Mars, so now we all want to live there. So NASA's gone to Jupiter, so can we live there? So yeah. what, what would it take to live on, on Jupiter? So when we finally travel into space, where will we live? And will we ever be able to colonize a giant gas planet like Jupiter? So some of these uh, information that we got today was from universetoday.com. Thank you very much. You guys are good. Um, recently, NASA has sent back some amazing shots and analysis of, uh, of Jupiter. <laughs> so in honor of this event, we're going to ask, we've asked that question, what would it take? Ryan, get it going for us. Uh, well, <clears throat> NASA and Elon Musk have plans to get us to Mars. Which oh, is yeah, like, we're going to be there next that. year probably, hey? Probably like, I'd say tomorrow. Next year, <laughs> It's not impossible to imagine humans living and working on the red planet as it's somewhat hospitable Next year. from all the samples and pictures NASA has collected. Basically, we have technology and resources, if we can actually get there, to set up shop on Mars without the planet instantly killing us. <laughs> <laughs> we can get there without instantly killing us. <laughs> What's the chances of that happening, NASA? Some other planets, you ask? I'm not going to get right into Jupiter. We're going to ask, how about somewhere like Venus? Yeah. We had a fact about that earlier. What about it? Looks like a great place to live. 
nice and close to the sun. Wow, it would be a great place to live if you could stick to the clouds and float around like uh, like a bird or something, eh? Yeah. Because if you go down to the surface, the atmosphere is 96% carbon dioxide, and the pressure, the atmospheric pressure is 92 times that of Earth. So you'd wow. probably get your bum crush pretty good. <laughs> It's also the hottest planet in the solar system, despite the fact that Mercury is closer. Yeah. Venus is the hottest planet with a mean surface temperature, so an average surface temperature of 462 degrees Celsius, which is 863 degrees Fahrenheit. So I guess Venus is out. And, pro <laughs> and probably Mercury, because Mercury is probably pretty hard. Heart. <laughs> pretty heart. It's pretty hot. No, it's too, pretty right? heart. It's pretty hard. <laughs> it's pretty heart. It's pretty Brett to Hitman heart. <laughs> <laughs> But this is about Jupiter, so could we live there? Come on, guys, you know the answer. Sure, right? we can. Let us know the answer down below before you, must... you even uh, before you even answer. It. <laughs> NASA, NASA's gone there, so we must have a reason yeah. why we're studying it. Eh? Exactly. Come so, on, NASA's got great reasons. Come on, can, so, we, can we live there? Jupiter is the most massive planet in our solar system, though. It has a diameter of almost 140,000 kilometers. Holy it is made moly. mostly of hydrogen, helium, the same materials of the sun. It has more than 317 times the mass of Earth, providing its enormous gravity. Wow, that's so crazy. So it's pretty big, I guess. <laughs> So I guess if you can stand on the cloud tops of Jupiter, uh, you would still experience two and a half times the gravity that you do on Earth. So you just fall to your death because it's a gas planet made of hydrogen, which is the lightest element in the universe. And you can't stand on gas, could you? Ha. Mm, no, you can't. <laughs> you can't. Oh, I thought you could. <laughs> I was wrong. NASA, teach me. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, no, you couldn't just jaunt across the skies in a balloon. You would sink faster than you can imagine. The only thing that's lighter than hydrogen is hot hydrogen. So let's say you could make a balloon and fill it with superheated hydrogen and float around the cloud tops of Jupiter, suffering the crushing gravity, of course. Is there anything else that might kill you? Pretty much everything there is going to kill <laughs> I was you. Gonna say. Is what we're going with this. Like Jupiter is surrounded by an enormous magnetic field, which is ten times more powerful than Earth's. It traps particles and then whips them around like an accelerator. This radiation is a million times more powerful than the Earth's Van Allen belts, which are the radiation belts that surround Earth. If you tried to get near that radiation belt without insufficient shielding, it'd be bad. Right? Yeah, I mean, that wouldn't be fun. Or would it? Uh, depends on what your thoughts of fun would be, dying. <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what if you can get past all that gas? Yeah. Is there a, a friendly part of Is Venus? Is there a solid core to Jupiter? Uh, Jupiter, down? I mean? I said Venus, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Venus or Jupiter. <laughs> <laughs> Is, there... Is there a core to Jupiter is what we're asking? Somewhere we could live and not have to worry about the pesky brain say problems? Probably. Astronomers think that there are a few times... There are a few times the mass of Earth in rocky material deep down inside. So, which, like, roughly, what, roughly a couple Earths way deep down below there. Which is what we're hoping. That's the thing. We don't yeah. quite know. Yeah, exactly. It's, this is just based on the fact that there has to be something there. This is, this is what NASA does all the time, eh? Yeah. Guess. <laughs> right? Yeah, guess what, guys? There's nothing there. $50 billion for a guess. No, I'm just kidding. Jupiter doesn't exist. I'm just kidding. Jupiter doesn't exist. Just kidding, all you NASA ah, fans. April Fools. <laughs> but like we said, of course the temperature and the <laughs> April Fools. Yeah, of course. <laughs> no sense. Of course the pressure and the temperature would be just incomprehensible. <sighs> the temperature at the core of Jupiter is thought, you know, we only think about this, to be about twenty-four thousand degrees Celsius. Hydrogen is crushed so tightly it becomes superheated liquid, or some strange new flavors of ice. Basically, it becomes an unknown type of metal. So, yeah, so basically the moral of the story and the question is, is we're not equipped to go there, let alone set up shop. Basically, if we were, what would it take to, to actually live on there? You'd yeah, have that's to, a, that's the question. That we, what would it take? Yeah, You'd have to be like go a god. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, basically, basically nothing, eh? A miracle? Uh, yeah, you know, you have to just basically be indestructible. You have to be hydrogen. <laughs> yeah. Hot hydrogen. <laughs> if you want to float around. <laughs> uh, so why, so why is NASA flying there like why are we studying this i don't know just big waste of money <laughs> we want to know we like to know about hey gases. let's learn about jupiter before we learn about mars like and i'm guessing we can't get that close since what we just said is it will suck you in and whip you around i think that's what they're gonna have to do they're just gonna send that yeah just send, send, a, send that probe send into the there probe. and be like it's gonna like literally they're gonna be so excited like all right guys you're gonna find out what's in there it's just gonna get like crushed <laughs> there's 300 billion dollars yeah. <laughs> children starving 
but let's send a probe to Jupiter to get destroyed. <laughs> Good episode. <laughs> What'd you guys think, Ryan? Comment down below what you think of the episode. Jupiter and Venus and Mercury. <laughs> and like and share this episode. Like and share it. Yeah. But don't forget to subscribe. Clicking the sun right here. It's going to be right there. <laughs> it's gonna be right I bet you you're off. It's probably like here. <laughs> Clicking the uh, sun right there, we'll subscribe. There's also a button somewhere down there that you can click. And guys, right over here, I'm probably, I'm always right here. I just grabbed right there. I grabbed it. Huh. <laughs> Hashtag UTN. Spread the love of UTN. And also, guys, check out our website at www.uptillnoon.com. Quick access to our social media links, more information about us, and our merch shop. Yes, check it out. Buy something. It'll be really cool. Yep. Um, also, if you want to be featured uh, in an episode, just like the little intro we had in the back there, in the back there. In the back there. <laughs> yeah. I guess present, and this is present, and future is back. <laughs> you, please send us this, your submission, intro, and then name it, uh, Up Till Noon Intro Submission, and just give us your best thanks for saying Up Till Noon. And we do know a lot of people are asking when they're going to get their uh, intro into an episode. Um, we have to do it in order. I mean, we don't want to skip people, so we're doing it in order from the people who first posted it. So you may be a couple of uh, episodes behind. You might be a couple of weeks. So please just be uh, patient with us. We're going to get to you guys. We promise, and we will do our best. So <sighs> end of the episode. That took a lot out of me. I just said that all in like one <laughs> breath of air. <sighs> so yes, as always, guys. Thanks, thanks for staying, staying up, up till, till noon. noon. It's more like moon, more like Jupiter. Go visit Jupiter. Yeah, go we'll visit the moon. <laughs> Hey everybody, wasn't that a great episode? Click above me for our previous one. Check out the next episode, click right up here. Visit us on all of social media's finest platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, and a Snapchat username is up till noon. Click access to all those plus our merch, uptillnoon.com. See you tomorrow. 12 p.m. Central Time. And don't forget to subscribe! subscribe.